Alrighty friends, this is Mesh Mixer and somebody asked me about how my support settings are set up and they needed a better look. So let me show you how I do this. Uh, first when I bring one in, I double check the inspector. This one has a lot of bad parts. I don't terribly care, so I'm going to just ignore them. If I really was trying to make something perfect, I would get it right. This was made by a student, so we're just going to roll with it. Whoa, now that I see those eyes not attached, I'm going to back up and actually show you how to repair those. The first step is to move over here to the toolbar and find the select tool. And then I'm going to select both eyes. I don't want that, so I'm going to clear it. I want to make sure I just have the eye selected. When I select, I'm going to shrink that down. And then I'm going to use the letter E to extend it to all of those parts. And then I'm going to use the cool soft transform. What that does is it lets me push those eyeballs into the head so they're actually attached. I can rotate them a little so they're the right angle so they print better. And then I can pull out this one to actually make them stretch back the way the student had it. So now I'm closer to what he wanted. And if I hit accept, now I've got a project that is a lot more printable just because of one cool trick selecting and then using the deform to make it look the way I want. Let's go back to analysis and let's double check the overhangs. I've got custom settings. You can see my angle thresh is 35, my TOL and my Y offset are zero. This is the main one though, the support generator. Um, I usually drop this down into the 1520 range. I always set my layer height to 0 0.3. I like my post diameter to be three or sometimes four, depending on how thick I want them. I always do the tip 0 0.4. 0 0.4 just makes more sense to me since I got a 0 0.4 hot end. And then the base diameter I like to use is six. When I hit generate support, it goes through and makes those little pieces that are going to hold my arms together and make it so it's more likely to print successfully. This little nub in the back, I don't care about. So watch this. I can hit done. And then I can go to that same select trick. This time I'm going to select just this piece. I'm going to hit E to extend it. And I'm going to hit delete. I don't mind this piece right back here because it'll help print the rest of it successfully. Once you have your part completely set up, then you can do file, export, and you want to export it as an SVG. I like the binary format. And I'm going to call it monkey fixed. It tells me that the thing is complex. I already told you I don't care, so I'm going to try and print it just like that. So, hey, friends, if that helped you, please hit the like button. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, please add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.